What's going on everybody? It's your boy Grim here from Outside MTG. Today's episode brought to you by the good folks at Game Armory. For the players, by the players. You can find their link down in the description below. It really is an awesome place. I love that LGS. And they're going to have their TCG player up and running here pretty soon also. So hey, get some online purchases on. But today, we're going to stun on folks in Historic with Simic Ramp. This deck is ridiculous. So, basically the game plan is, we're trying to turn 2 Nyssa, maybe turn 3 if we have to, but there is a world where we turn 2 Nyssa. And we're trying to slam Ulamogs on 3. Nick's Bloom Ancient here, with Leyline of Abundance, can just let us get in for just Mana Dork Beats. It is kind of crazy how big they can get. Like, you know, Ulamog's a 10-10, but... It's not uncommon that this Gilded Goose could stand tall in front of an Ulamog. But hey, let's take a look at the sideboard here. We got some Graph Diggers Cages. Got some Love Strug Beasts, because, you know, aggro is a thing. It's nice to be able to put 5-5s five in front of them. Shifting Ceratops, because no one likes blue decks. Karns here, they can cut off our opponents from being able to use their artifacts. And they can go find us Cage. It's actually kind of nice in the Kethis Combo matchup. We've got four big old Fighty Hydras as a way to dump our mana if we need to. And three Hydroid Krasis, because, you know, if you're ramping, you've got green, you've got blue, Krasis should be somewhere in your 75, right? But hey, with all that being said, let's get out of here, let's ramp on some folks, let's go do something silly. Alright, Redemption, you will not be redeemed today. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not playing this deck to not keep a double ley line hand, right? <coughs> a little incubation druid here just casually taps for a five once we adapt it next turn. Item Malice. Okay. No attacks, opponent. Let's see if they want to swing and let us eat their knight in combat. It's amazing how often people walk right into that. Murderous Rider? Sure. Oh, we're out of dorks. And all we have is big stuff. Hey, look, we're not out of dorks anymore. Sure would be nice if our, you know, opponent over here would quit interacting with us. At your service. Your light will clean the dark. No box. Hey, that's a Nissa. I like Nissa. I like Nissa a lot, actually. Come on, tap it for us. Hey, let's go for Gids. And there you go. So I think if they want to swing both in Nissa, we're probably just okay with that. Maybe I don't know. Maybe not. Do we pick up the block for Nissa? Because they're both definitely headed that way. I think I do. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that block. Let's adapt. Destroy my patience. Mad Grace. And winner more commander opponent over here. Just all the things. Let's untap and introduce our opponent to Ulamog, whose hunger is ceaseless. I would like oh an opponent doesn't want to play magic. Come back, opponent. <laughs> it's so hard to get good footage of this deck because no one wants to play. <laughs> Uh, sure. Get our incubation druid down onto you. Oh, look at that. I got a feeling there might be some Field of the Dead in our future. A little scape shift Yorian. I'm down, opponent. Get our, get our adapt on next turn. Figure it out from there. Some 
Triumph. There's the Field of the Dead, as promised. Not all cool and full art like ours, but you know, fun is doing their best. Would I rather just play out some dorks is the question. Hmm. Dorks or adapt? Let's go dorks. We could actually finale for, uh, what's his name? Nyx Bloom Ancient here. And just get all the mana. Or they could minus three Vivian and take out our ley line. That's also something that could happen. Man, I haven't seen Vivian in forever. Well, other than us playing it, of course. Hmm. Guess this will just be Goose for now, and we'll adapt the Druid. No attacks? No attacks. I actually get to play a game of magic here? It's crazy. Alright. Golos is gonna start making some boys and girls. Man, I don't even know what this Ulamog is wanting to target at this point. I mean, we gotta get Vivian out of play. I guess we probably just need to get Golos out of play. Get our adaption on. So is it just Ulamog here? Probably just Ulamog here. Yeah. Let's make life difficult. I want that one and that one opponent. You can keep your fill for dead. No attacks. On the downside, an 80 card deck, Ulamog doesn't chew through quite as quickly. I'm just done playing magic. That is the power of Ulamog. As a Tron player, I can tell you it works that way in modern too. Man, I'm trying to slam these turn three Ulamogs though. Not all these late game turn five Ulamogs. Uh, okay, I can live with that. We'll keep it. Drop in the ley line. We've been getting pretty lucky with these opening hand ley lines. That was a good one off the top. Get both of these into play next turn. Hopefully set up for this ancient sooner rather than later. And yeah, I guess. We might have some devotion on our hands. Certainly smells like devotion to me. Now to get us the mana to get the Ancient down next turn, and then we'll go for just a big old finale, I guess. Finale our boy Ulamog into play, and no blocks. You gonna pump up the jam upon it? Nope. If you'd be so kind as to not drill bit me, I would appreciate it. There's the drill bit. Bye, Nyx Bloom. Oh, really? Maybe they have the removal spell in hand? I don't know, either way, I'm getting this fella into play. This guy taps for a bajillion now, roughly. This is nine mana from this one guy. Uh, yeah, you can grab that block, Goose. Goose had a good run. That's not awesome. Hmm. I was going to say no attacks. We're going to chill on it. We're just going to go crazy with this ley line over here. I can pump the knight once. Just gonna say no blocks again. You can pump the knight if you want. We'll take that hit. Ah, the Nixilis, huh? Okay. That's gonna take out our Nix Bloom Ancient. 
but in response what if we made that much mana With that one short of being able to activate it again that's sad hey that's not though <laughs> Sure. Try not to think too hard. We've got exactly enough to cast it. We'll see. Opponent's head exploding in three, two, one. I would like that one and that one, opponent. I will return. Oh, an opponent sticking around to play magic. Okay. If you want to, opponent, that's that's up to you. Maybe it's just a delayed reaction. Maybe this is where their head explodes. Playcrafter, that's fine. I can't take too many swings from this little mark. Well. Let's open it up with this. Get them top 20 opponent. What you working with? I guess they could have Phyrexian Obliterator in their deck. Alright, he's gonna make a zombie to block it. Sure. They do have Obliterators. We just saw a bunch of them too. Oh, we got all four Obliterators. I wonder if the opponent knows that we got all their obliterators. How much do you make? Enough? Perfect. <coughs> yeah, being able to snag all those obliterators was a big deal. Another play crafter. Oh, they got Lily too, Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, you can have this one. Second ley line. Okay, opponent's done playing magic. <laughs> yeah, Ulamog tends to have that effect. Alright, turn three Ulamog. Let's see it. Or turn two Nissa. Hmm. That's a turn three Nissa with finale. I think we're down to keep that. No ley line, but hey. That's cool looking little Ixalan Forest. Our opponent over here getting their merfolk on. I almost did vampires for the channel today. We could have just covered all the major tribes of Ixalan. But I do have a pirate deck. It's not very good, but I have it. <laughs> okay, as much as I would love to get one of these two mana dorks down. We're going to have to do it like this, because I want that turn 3 Nissa, if nothing else. Is there any Flash Merfolk? I don't believe so, for one. But we're going to get in, because we're not blocking without Elena Warrior anyway. Sure. Got to negate. They're going to keep it. No block. Yeah, it's not the land off the top I wanted. Yeah, let's untap this force. I'm just gonna drop in this Karyatin. I currently got six mana for next turn. Yep, I'm gonna grab one block. Keeping this up. Love a forest off the top. Close enough. How much mana can we make? We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Leaving us one short of the seven to go get Nyx Bloom Ancient, so that's kind of sad. Is there anything else in the deck we'd be just super into? 
guess I could do this, this, and this. We could finale for two while they don't have negate up. Hey, let's search my library. I would like this guy. From there, let's drop in an incubation druid. Plus Nissa. Untap the breeding pool. And say go. like to be able to protect this Nissa if any at all possible, but that's going to make sure that doesn't happen, so let's make a food. Yep. Bye, friends. Yeah, so Nissa's days are definitely numbered here, and ours aren't looking great. I wouldn't have thought about it for a minute. Yeah, you better deal with that, Nissa. This could get worse. Opponent keeping a blocker back? That seems like a very odd choice, opponent. Fight on without me. Well, we've got the mana for Ulamog. Is it good enough, though, is the question. I don't think it is. I don't know. We're still going to have a couple of blockers. So let me have that one, and I guess the next biggest one. Boy, Ulamog in here coming to save the day. Would you like to continue playing Magic Opponent? In my experience, most people do not. That's wild they dropped this card into the historic anthology. Like, this is a modern grade finisher. I was pioneer decks that play this too, but like, this is a modern grade finisher. Oh well. Get in with Nulamog, get them top 20. Let's see here. Let's drop that in. Play this tap and just say go. I can adapt this incubation druid. Although I'm not totally sure at this point why we're still playing magic. Let's get our adapt on. Yeah, unfortunately, Kennen does not help out Nissa lands at all. Well, I would like your top 20 once again, opponent. Down to five. Got to end it here. I'm just going to say go. If they do have something to tap our entire board down with... I guess that still wouldn't be enough, but we can have Kinnon actually just go find us a blocker. This game is effectively over. Unless our opponent's playing like sleep. I guess sleep would be pretty good. And sure. Yeah, an opponent has had enough. The merfolk cannot handle the Eldrazi. Alright, Xandor. You ready to meet this turn three Ulamog? Pretty good. All right, this is our Leyline opponent. This is our puppet. Hmm. Do I want to use the goose to get both dorks out? Is the question. Scroll aggro, huh? I'm down, opponent. A little haste 2-2. No box. 
And there's a finale also? Okay, yeah, we'll just go for it. We can threaten to instant speed adapts. And then figure it out from there. We're about to get ambushed? I feel like I'm ambushed in our future. No? Okay. Well, no blocks, opponent. You bring it. You missed that land drop for me, too, if you wouldn't mind. Alright. Opponent out here missing the land drop. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see here. Let's, let's, let's think about this for a minute. If I went green, that'll require me to tap that as well. What if I went green, shot? Adapted. I'm going to tap this, add a whole bunch of green mana, play one of these, and make a food. And then watch our opponent concede to Ulamog next turn. That's turn four, Ulamog. Not bad. Well, we are straight about to eat two of their lands here. No questions asked. Um, no blocks. <laughs> Ooh, there's Kennen. How much mana could I make now? What do you tap for? You tap for five? That's eight. Hmm. We could finale, but I don't think that's right. All right, let's see here. How do we want to tap this? You know what, auto tapper? How do you want to tap this? Like that? I'm okay with that. I would like your red sources, opponent. This is my Ulamog. Consider just eating the food there. That might have actually been the right choice. It's not like we're getting cleave, though. We'll probably just finale next turn for Nyx Bloom Ancient. Try to get all trampoly. Opponent with just nothing. Okay. Deal. Let's see here. Let's make a bunch of green. Make a bunch of green. And green, 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 and green. That's finale for 10. I would like to search my library. I would like this Nyx Bloom. Yeah, how do you feel, opponent? Like they've got to block with their entire team. And even then, it's not enough. <laughs> Just the trample plus the flyer is going to get it done. Poor girl, Lagro. They're, they're so mean, but they're so little. Well, hey, everybody. That's all we're doing for today. So I want to thank everyone for showing up, checking the video out. If you would, drop a like, leave a subscribe. It seriously helps me out trying to get this channel up off the ground. But hey, see you guys tomorrow with some more Magic the Gathering content.